Well, going into the season, there are some records that we should take note of. Not necessarily the most positive. Um, But we saw this, and you know us and, well, Catherine being a statistician and me just liking, you know, records and things to note. Um, There's some sad ones and some that I know will not be broken and they'll live forever in the record books. But there are some that I think we will see be broken this year. Like Lando has never um, won a race. So he is on the verge of actually setting a new record for most podiums without a win. Yes. Um, but I think this one will be broken. Like, er, like he I won't do- break it. Like, he will drop off from this list. I don't know how well, to explain that. I So I think that he's going to break the record for podiums without a, without a win and then also get a win this season. So he's currently tied for the record, but he's. I think he's. he'll, he'll have a podium this year before he has a win this year. So he. I, I think that he will break this record, but then also get his first win this year. So it'll be like a little mixed blessing type of thing. I don't know. I think he might, first time he's on the podium, win this year. Ooh. Interesting. Bold prediction. By that is a bold prediction. Um, we, will, we will keep an eye on this and reflect back to the segment when this yeah. happens. And I will be wrong and you will be right. But that's okay. A girl can dream. I mean, we'll see. You never know what happens. Pierre Gasly won a race in an Alpha Tauri once, so you never that's, know what's going to happen. Honestly, I completely forgot one because it's Pierre Gasly. I forgot, but I also <laughs> forgot like that it happened until it was mentioned in Drive to Survive. I was like, oh my god, he did win in an Alpha Tauri. Um, yeah. God bless him. Yeah. The other sad one is um, the Nico Hulkenberg one. <laughs> this one's rough, yeah, because it will. This he will break this record. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, he's five races away from setting the F1 record for most Grand Prix starts without a win, um, yep. which is he's currently at 203. Yeah. 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 And yeah, um, and he's extending his record for most race starts without a podium, um, which is just going to keep going and going and going. Yeah. So which is crazy but it's also not crazy like there's 20 drivers there used to be 22 used to be 24 and so he's raced for a very long time but he's never made podium but really every race only three drivers make podium and generally generally there's like a handful who make podium every year he's just never been in that handful of any season so but he's still gotten by because he's still a solid driver he just isn't solid enough to make podium or win. Yeah. I mean, he, he's always been in like that, that solid midfield type of car. Um, right now he is not in a solid midfield type of car, but that's, um, ho- hopefully they'll get their, their life together under their new team principal, but we'll see. Um, but speaking of, of records for, for drivers who have been in top tier cars, Valtteri Botas is extending as we go into the season, his record for most points without winning a championship um, with 1,797 points. He's mm. probably not going to score many points this year in the stake kick sauber whatever the heck they're being called this week the um, green machine the 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 <laughs> green car um but yeah this so what whatever points he manages to wrangle this this record will will continue and i think this record will also be very hard to break in the future yeah no definitely um and then last but not least k mags yeah. Okay, Mags. Um, he's continuing to extend the F1 record for most race starts without leading a lap. So, again, yeah. he's raced for a long time and he's never led an F1 lap. Well, I think that never leading a, a lap is is really, you know, I think that one's really interesting because, like, Mick Schumacher – who did not have a great couple of years at Haas, he led a lap in Formula One. Yuki's led a lap in Formula One. So Kevin, I, I think I think that you have to do that on purpose. Um, I know he's not doing this on purpose, but still, it's this this is this is a really kind of quirky one for me. Well, but and okay, Emily, time memory not good. Um, he got pole last year, though, didn't he? Or in 2022? Two years ago. 
Yes. Okay. 2022, he got pole. <laughs> so yes. how do you not lead at least one lap when you're on pole? Well, he was in a Haas um, and was very quickly overtaken. um, And it was Brazil and it was a fluke. (laughs) Okay. Thank you for detailing out the 10 reasons why, but you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. One, one would think opportunity. He, he did. Um, But instead he will continue. And I mean, hopefully he can get pole again on a weird sprint weekend. Cause we know that these sprint weekends are going to be really freaking weird. Yeah. Only time will tell. Yeah. But anyways, those are some of the um, not so fortunate records to keep track of this season. And we'll keep keep tabs on them to see, especially the Lando one. Um, yeah, that, that one will be updated yeah. soon, I'm sure. The others, no. But Lando, yes. Hopefully. Yes. 